Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a DIY room decor video. As you can see, all the room decor is behind me that I made today. There's one right here, one right here, and one right here. I'm going to keep this intro short so we can get right into the DIYs. If you haven't already, follow me in, on Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, wherever you want to. I'll have all the places you can follow me linked down below. Also, subscribe to me if you haven't subscribed to me because for the new year, my resolution is to put up more videos this year. So hopefully that happens. If you guys want to be notified when I post a new video, just subscribe and it'll come right to your little subscription box. So yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you try out any of these DIYs I did, um, just send me a picture on Twitter and I would love to see them. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get on to the video. So the first DIY we're going to be making is boxes that are inspired by Kate Spade. So I'm just starting off with putting a base coat on these paper mache boxes that I got at Michael's and then putting a second coat of white paint. You can paint them any color that you want. I just chose white because the theme of my room now is white, gold, and black. And now I'm taking some gold paint and a circle shaped sponge brush and putting polka dots on this box and you'll also see in a few in a few seconds later that I also made a box with gold stripes on it on the top of the lid. And as you can see, the box has turned out super cute. You can use these to store anything that you want, and I'm really excited to have these in my little cube organizer. So the next DIY we're going to be making is a candle set, kind of. So right now I'm just taking a candle stick that I got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar and painting it white so it matches the theme of my room. I would recommend spray painting this because this paint kind of was streaky on these and when I would try to put the second coat on, I probably should have let it dry longer, but it was really blotchy. So I would probably spray paint this if I did it again. I'm taking two candles that I got from the Dollar Tree as well for a dollar and just taping them off and using a spray adhesive and adding gold glitter to the bottom half of the candle. And I'm doing this for two candles, which I only show one. But. I think Mod Podge might have worked a little bit better on these candles since the spray adhesive was kind of rolling off of them, but it still worked out pretty good. Now I'm just peeling the tape off after they've dried for a few minutes, and as you'll see, there's a perfect line from the glitter and the spray adhesive. Drag me down. Once your candlestick has dried, you're just going to use some hot glue and glue one of the candles onto the top of it and leave the other one without a candlestick. That way when you put them into wherever you're decorating, there's kind of like a height difference and it makes it just a cute look. Next, I'm making a world map. So first, I just traced it on the back and then shaded the front to transfer it onto the canvas. And I didn't really show that because it took forever. Once it was transferred onto the canvas, I took some gold leaf paint instead of using actual gold leaf and outlined 
the um, the continents on the canvas that way it would be easier for me to fill it in in a few minutes this process also took a few hours so I only recorded just a, bit, a little bit of it because it seriously just takes forever Once you have it all outlined, you're just going to go back and fill all those um, blank spaces in, in gold. And, I mean, you could change the color if you wanted to. I did my canvas in gold because it matched my room theme and I liked the look of the gold leaf metallic-y look. And, as you can see, I left some spots blank because I was going to go back in with a smaller paintbrush, but I did not show that in this video. My camera had died and I didn't notice it until after I was completely finished painting the picture, so... I filmed most of it for you guys, so... Speeding to when it's done, this is what it looks like, and it's so cute, and I'm just so in love with the way that this looks. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!